can't remember if I got this in the last episode. But if I didn't, or did, no matter whatever, right here is that chest. Anyway, hey everybody, it's Gameplay for Eight out of Five here. Welcome back to more awesome Legend of Zelda Swap Princess. Last time we entered this place, and we also, um, yeah, came here. Anyway, I'm just gonna cut. So, BRB. Anyway, we're back here. Um, I know, it's been like a week since, um, my last Okami video, and, um, you know that, um, first, um, Star Wars Support and Week video? Uh, you know? Um, yeah, sorry, but I've been very busy. Anyway, some water bombs here, thank you. I need some more water bombs. I highly recommend getting at least one bomb, one extra bomb bag, uh, for this dungeon. Because you're gonna use a lot of bombs here, or a few. You know, and it's very annoying. Like, the first time I played this, I. You won't believe it, but I used so many. It took me, like, forever. Because I always had a little amount of money, and then I had to. I didn't know about the um, other bomb bags, so I had to use. So I had to use bomb arrows with water bombs. And guess what? It was hell. I always, I had to go out, you know, with Uku, and then, yeah, it's very annoying. Anyway, let's go over here. So, um, also, I want to give you a tip. If you like, anyway, I was up here, just hitting them. If you like, if you want a very good Star Wars game, you should definitely check out Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I have that game, and that's probably, that's the best Star Wars game I've ever played. Seriously, it's, it's the best Star Wars game I've ever played. Um, you should definitely get it. Um, uh, whatever. Anyway, get that key. Smash these things if you want to. gotta get a life. I mean, seriously, basically the only thing I'm doing is basically pretty much just making videos, I guess. It's basically that. Really, I hope you guys will appreciate my blind walkthrough of Star LEGO Star Wars 3 when, um, Okami and Legend of Zelda 2 Princess is over. And I go in here with the... and you need a key. Anyway, this bug thing here is gonna go there. Use a bomb arrow or bomb. If you're trying to slash him while the ball is up, um, it's like a shield that you can't uh, go through. Anyway, with a small key one just that, open up. Thank you very much. Then go down. Then climb up these vines. About it, Okami and Legend of Zelda have very much um, is uh, having some few of the same things. Like for example, now we're gonna have um, in this dungeon we're gonna get the last few shadows, and then Mina will get sand and we will save the world. You know, then we're done with the game. Um, in Okami, we thought that. Now we thought that, and. Um, you know, we owned Orochi. I was actually just lucky there um, when I found it Orochi. Because um, Orochi heads, all the Orochi heads have two different, two attacks. One attack is to launch at you, that everybody did. The other one is um, using their element. Um, it's only the, um, the earth head, the lightning head, and yeah, it, very easy. Uh, anyway, open that chest for to get some more bombs. 
boom, boom, quarter bombs. Anyway, this is kind of funny. When I came here the first time, I didn't know what to do. Um, I didn't see those ladders there, so I was just like wandering around, took me hours. Then, I, when I finally saw them, I thought they were decorations, you know? I was stupid. Anyway, then I gave up and went on YouTube, saw a speedrun of this place. Oh, so it's that you gotta do. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> really funny, actually. I was like, oh, what do I do? I'm stuck. Um, that chest over there, we can't get it. That chest over there, we can't get that before um, we get the dungeon item, okay? But it just fits the rupees, but it's hell to get um, over here. Anyway, it's two ways to get down here. One is just pulling or jumping here, that's a speedrun tactic. I did that, Wow! No worries, one more, I can show the other way. Anyway, um... So, if you really want those 50 rupees, go ahead, I'm gonna show... I'm gonna tell you what to do. Probably show a bit, but I'm not gonna actually get it, because... It's just so annoying, and it's just 50 rupees, it's not worth it. What the... What the hell? My joystick is... Just... Ah, there you go. Okay, when... My nunchuck was broken or something for a second. Anyway, go here where the war goes. Like everything else with me, except for my game sucking. Actually, I'm sucking at everything. Anyway, now when the water is flowing, that will spin. Okay. So what do you want to do? Basically, just can I please jump down? Wow, I was that close. Anyway, jump down. Um, then get back up to um, the entrance of this room. Um, this is required, of course. Um, don't worry about the hard pieces, we're not gonna get those before a bit later. Um, but whatever. Anyway, now when it's spinning, we can, uh, progress further. Wait, and jump on that. Then wait for you to get to this door. Get here. Don't go through that door. Go here. Open this chest. Get the damn key. Thank you very much. Um. Yeah. Also, you need to have war bombs for this dungeon, okay? The a few times in the dungeon where you have to use some um, water bombs. For example, we're coming up to one moment where you have to. Also, you need two water bombs at least to open the entrance. Anyway, go over here, and it's a helmet store here. Yeah, yeah, you gotta attack their ass. And the box here with the uh, rupees and recovery hearts. Um, anyway, with the smoky we just got, open the door and get in. We got the thing! No, we don't. Okay, whatever. There's a few electrifying, electrifying jellyfish here. Um, oh, yeah. Wow. Really? After you're getting the, um, the Gale Boomerang? No way, get a red rupee here. After getting the Gale Boomerang, you're almost never ever going to use your slingshot. After you're getting the, um, you know, the, um, bow and arrow, you're never ever using it again. Anyway, get found bombs here. If you're not full of water bombs, or have a on empty thing, you get water bombs, I guess. Um, anyway, take out your war bombs. Uh, we can't take the jelly 
with this um, before we get the dungeon item, okay? So we got some plants here. Whoa, almost hit me. Okay, I think it actually hit me. Anyway, after this boss battle, or mini boss battle, we're coming up to, I recommend having um, bomb drivers ready. And. Yeah. Just go, and that's gonna close. And then, these things gonna fall down. That was weird. Where the hell did it come from, anyway? Alright, this tells up. Just look up. In first person. Whoa, what the hell? Jiggly. That's the ugliest toad I've ever seen. And the fattest. Anyway, this is Deku Toad. It's pretty easy. Anyway, he's gonna start off with shaking off the eggs. Go, my babies! With bomb arrows, this boss fight is very easy. So anyway, then it's gonna jump up, and he's just gonna run, up in the shadow. Now, it's kinda funny. The weak spot is the tongue. Anyway, take a bomb arrow, the rollers, shoot a bomb arrow in his mouth, and that's it. So then you don't have to fight the um, stupid eggs. You know, don't have to fight the eggs. Come on, roar at me. Really stupid. Okay, come on. Yeah, it's very easy. This is actually easier than ooh, the baboon. Yeah, for some reason, impaling the tongue kills it. And for some reason, it also had eaten a... You? It also had eaten a... Chest? Wow. Well, um... If you haven't played the game before or seen it, you probably wouldn't guess what the dungeon item is. But, we're coming up to the tunnel in here, and I feel just to be a douchebag and cliffhanger. But of course... Coming later, so next time we gotta figure out what the hell that told Eden. See you guys.